Hi, this is Ethan, and I'm putting together this video to show one great way to get some quality inbound links to your website. Um, essentially, I'm going to be talking about submitting websites to online directories, and if you're not familiar with what an online directory is, it's essentially like a phone book or yellow pages of various websites. Uh, they break them down into different categories, and we'll get a little bit more into it in a second. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I went about submitting the site you're looking at right now, Orange Slice, to dmoz.org, um, which is the biggest and most important directory to submit to, but probably not the only one for your website. Uh, so let's go over to dmoz and have a closer look at the website. And I'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see the page better. Um, as you notice, it's got categories listed on the front page. Um, if you remember at one point, search engines actually kind of looked like this. Um, it's broken down into various categories, arts, business, computers, games, health, home, etc. They have subcategories within the categories, as you'll see movies, television, music. Um, if we click on business, for example, you'll see the various cat subcategories listed here. And you can even browse by resource or regional if you want. If you want to find websites from Asia, Hong Kong, for example. Um, if you don't want to browse by category, however, you can search for stuff using the search feature. Um, so we'll search for freelance, um, for example, for Orange Slice, and you'll see arts, writers resource, freelancing, computers, consultants, general and freelance. And we can click on more and there will be more listed there. One thing to keep in mind is that the search engine really isn't that smart, and so if I do something like type in freelancing like this, it wants to bring up various sports and other things not relative to what I'm looking for. So just keep in mind when you're searching for something that you might have to do multiple searches. Um, so you're probably wondering how do you suggest your site. Well, as you can see, there's a suggest URL button right here, and if we click on that, it says how to suggest a site to the Open Directory project. And If we scroll down, you'll see they've got some step-by-step -step directions. It says do not submit mere sites. Mere sites contain identical content. Um, there's some rules. I'll let you read these because you really need to read them yourself. Um, so, You'll notice there is no place to actually submit your site on this page. So they fooled us. Well, not really. The trick is to DMOZ and every other directory you'll probably come across is to navigate to the category that you want to submit to. This is an important step, and you're going to want to figure out the proper category to submit your site to. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of an explanation how I decide on where to uh, place Orange Slice. I didn't use the search feature by searching for freelance. I actually decided to look at some competing job websites, and I, I searched for them. So I, I typed in monster.com, which is a big um, job searching website, and I saw monster.com is listed here in business employment careers directory. So essentially they're claiming they're a directory also. And if you look down the page, these are all the different websites listed in this various category. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And so if you were on this page and somebody came to this page, they'd probably spot your website pretty easily. But this is actually not the page that I want to submit my website to. And the reason being is that when there's very few websites listed on a page, that means that the editor is probably not very active or he's very selective, he or she I should say, is very selective about the websites that they post on their page. 
So I don't like this one. There's there's not a lot of things here. So I came back and I searched for some more things, and I I eventually decide that the section I was going to was jobs, and then let me check my notes real fast. I have this written down: job search. And you'll see the reason why I decided to end up on job search is there's quite a few websites listed here. If I zoom out, you'll you'll get an idea of how much much more is on this page than on the other page. And you'd think, well, my site's going to get lost in here, but if people search for let's see, indeed.com, they'll find your website on this page also if you get listed here. And the key is is make your description here. You'll see the description appropriate for your website. And maybe your website is actually more in tune with what your audience wants than what somebody else listed. They may be a bigger website, but you're on the same page with them and people get to choose. So this is the page I want to submit to. So I scroll back to the top of the page. And I find the suggest URL link, which you can see right here. At this point, I click on suggest URL. And this is the point where you really want to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're doing. So let's see. We have site URL. This is going to be the domain name you're submitting. In our case, this is orange slice dot com. One thing to take note of is that I put in the www here. The reason for this is if I leave it out, it's going to recognize this as a different domain essentially than if there's www there. This is for consistency's sake and orangeslice.com, when you go to their site and type in orange slice for example, it will take you to www. So we, do, we want to be recognized as this. We don't want to be recognized like that. If your website shows up like this, though, you'll want to submit it like that. Just a piece, little piece of advice. Then they ask you for the title of your site. The title of the site is not this big, long thing you see up here. Orange Slice, Hire ASU, and Phoenix Phoenix College Students for Internships and Freelance Work. Orange Slice is really the title of the site, the title of the site, or the title of the company, I should say. Next is the site description. In this case, we'll use the site description that I have saved to my text editing program, which says easily find college students for internships and freelance work a completely free job board exclusively for small business and college students. And I would just copy and paste that in right here in the site description. And this site description is what appears right here. I've even seen some search engines where rather than grabbing the meta tag description from your website, it will use the description that it got from you here from DMOZ. So make sure you pick something that isn't keyword spammy, um, but actually is designed to draw a user in to click on it. Um, but it doesn't hurt to get a few keywords in there. Um, feel free to, to read some of the ones that were accepted because it's likely that the moderator of uh, the particular category um, edited it before he posted it. So these are the sort of things that the editor likes and will approve. So read through the category, look at other sites. Um, another thing that I did before deciding on this category was I clicked on a lot of these sites and made sure that they were of, of similar quality or similar content to Orange Slice because I want to make sure that the the editor of this category is going to improve a site of this style. If there aren't similar sites, you might just be in the wrong category. Um, however, if the editor does see your site and think it's worthy of being in DMOZ, he might actually push it to a different category. So 
don't be afraid if you think you might have the wrong category. Although, try your best to get in the best category. Don't pick a category just because you know that an editor is heavily active in it and you think he's going to push you to a different category because I think that's just a good way to irritate them. And um, you won't ever know if your site got, got put in a category. So let's stay away from doing that. And back to the submission page, you'll see it asks you for your email address. Be sure to give them a real email address. Um, you can set up a fake account, but I use my real address. This is a uh, user-moderated uh, directory service, and so it's on the up and up. I wouldn't worry about uh, anybody giving your email address to somebody. And then you'll need to verify this with a CAPTCHA test. And then you'll have to submit, verifying that you agreed to their terms of use. And at that point, you're going to need to wait. Uh, it can take anywhere from a day to several months before your website might get listed on DMOZ. Uh, don't get impatient and continually list your site. Uh, it's liable to irritate the moderators and they don't go based on any particular order. They'll just go through things and decide which websites they want to look at any given day. They might go through 10, they might go through 100, they might start at the bottom of the list or in the middle. Uh, so you'll just have to be patient. If your website hasn't shown up after six to seven months you might consider resubmitting it to maybe a different category other than that I think that's about all you need to know uh, let me just check my notes and see if there's anything that I might have missed just make sure you double check everything triple check if you really need to um, and I think that's about all so good luck with your directory submission. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to respond. Uh, and if you need some other sites to, to submit to, some other directories, I highly recommend just going to, to Google and doing a search, and I'm sure they'll, they'll show up.